Hey guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. Um, we've got the Ruger LC9 here, and I want to do a really quick uh, disassemble and reassemble, show you guys how to do that. Um, this is a little bit different than the majority of Rugers out there. Um, for some reason, when Ruger makes their pistols, they like to make it difficult to take apart. Or they like to make sure that you have extra steps. I don't know why, if they're trying to keep you on your toes or what, but you know what? The LC9 has a couple of those different types of steps. Um, they usually give you two keys when you buy the gun. Those keys are to lock the trigger. You can stick them in a hole here. And you can use them to push out the little retaining pin that goes through the barrel. I don't have my keys with me at the moment, so I'm going to use a spring that Ryan had from his converted Sega to push out the retaining pin. So how do you get the gun apart? You have a little tiny lever here on the side of the gun, right here, and you want to push that down, like so. Okay. When I first took this gun apart, I could not get that lever down. I had to use a butter knife to get it down. Uh, since then, I've taken the gun apart at least five or six times, and it has slowly um, gotten looser, made it a lot easier to take it down. I can now do it with my finger. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to pull back on the slide until you get to that little retaining pin. There's a little cutout in the slide for where that retaining pin needs to go. And on the back side of this gun, there's a little hole right there. You want to use whatever you're using to punch through it. Probably your key. For me it's the spring. And I want to push out that retaining pin. And there's that pin. Pops right out. If you grease it really good, sometimes you can just pull back on the slide and jiggle and wiggle it, and guess what? It pops right off, comes right out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take apart the gun. Um, you want to make sure you remove that mag, or you're not going to be able to get the slide off. So drop that mag, slide should come right off. There's your guide rod. This is a stainless steel replacement that we had to install because ours actually broke. So yours probably is black and plastic. Here is the all too familiar Caltech PF9, I mean Ruger LC9 barrel. It's very similar to the PF9's barrel. And then your gun is ready to clean. Um, and we really recommend cleaning your weapon after each time you go to the range. Hey, if you don't remember the last time you cleaned your gun, it is time to clean it. Um, and especially if you're using this as a carry gun, maybe you don't shoot this every time you go to the range. What well, you've been carrying in your pocket for the last two months. I recommend lubing up your gun at least once a month. Make sure that everything's going to function when you need it to function. So to put your gun back together, you want to take your slide, take your barrel, slip your barrel in, just like every other semi-auto. Take your two springs and guide rod, slip those guys in and into the proper spot. You want to go ahead and line up the slide, stick it onto the frame. This should go on nice and smooth. You don't want to force it on there. If you're having to force it, it is because maybe your barrel is sticking to the side or your guide rod's off center. So you want to make sure that you've got them pretty much centered. Then you want to be able to nicely move that, that slide should move freely like that. You want to get back to that little circle so you can put your pin back in. Pin should slip right back in there, nice. And then you push up on that little lever, and guess what? The gun is ready to go. Let's test it. You can dry fire this weapon, um, and Ruger says actually you can dry fire all of their guns, uh, including their 22s. So if you guys have any questions on this takedown and reassembly, feel free to ask. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. But uh, this is the Ruger LC9. And this is Chad from uh, CNR Reviews. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.